carb's still dirty. I didn't clean anything on the motor yet. But uh, it's pretty much complete as far as uh, the assembly and repair, let's say. I do not have a throttle hooked up yet, uh, but the brakes are done. Um, this motor was on a pressure washer and it had these isolators underneath it. And I thought that might be a good idea to uh, help dampen it, but I think they're a little too soft. And if you really get on it, the motor kind of twists a little bit from the torque on the belt. So when I take it back apart, I'm gonna take those off. But pretty much what I did is I just copied this plate, made another one, and then it's just angle iron, angle iron, weld it to it. And uh, it slides just like it would. I just had to go kick it over a little bit. Uh, what else did we do? Got the uh, correct belt for it. I had one that was an inch longer. I was just trying to keep the motor back as far as possible so that the seat uh, is adjustable to give me enough room. The brakes are all done. It's got double band brakes. You can see a band on this side. Everything was all seized up. Every pivot point was seized. I just tore it all apart and cleaned it up. Um, had to drill some holes in these pivots, shoot some oil down them, free them up along with some heat. And uh, that's the pedal for that. That's as far as I'm going to on. And it's just, again, it's just being brakes. But it's, it looks like a pretty good system. Plus they have it doubled up, which is nice because it's a live axle. They only had to go put it on one side, but probably just gives you double the energy. So, uh, just, heated everything up and bent it back into shape. Everything was all out of whack. You remember before the steering column was kicked way over to one side. Uh, the seat was, forget about it, that was twisted up and on an angle. And uh, basically just map gas and, and heat and uh, some persuasion to get it back into place. Took all the front end apart, the, the, uh, the con rods. Uh, took them apart, freed them up. The pivots were seized on the yeah, I don't know where this thing sat, but it was definitely outside for a long period of time. But everything's nice and free now online, the front end, you know, by eye. Well, the the uh, the pans, this pan was already off the seat, just re-welded it back on. And I cut this one free, it had a big bend in it before. And uh, heated the seat bar up and got that so that uh, it was back in shape and then put the backrest back on it again. The, Tires, the two front tires, oh boy, they were a pain in the ass. They were um, uh, leftovers from when I built that trike. Here's the other two. That trike, I built, built it out of a four wheeler, a little 50cc Chinese four wheeler. So there's the front end out of it, and these were the two back tires that were on it. So uh, they were the same size. On the ass end, uh, these are tractor tires, and they are probably about two inches taller than the ones that were on it. And they are off of um, this tractor right here. This uh, has a crack block, so this tractor's no good. And uh, I think I paid 10 bucks for it at a yard sale during the summertime. So it's going to turn into a parts machine, I believe. It's not a very good quality one, you know. So it had good tires, though. <laughs> and here's the old ones that were, were on that. Kind of shade of size difference. Well, let's see. Yeah, it looks like level at the bottom. So you about that much difference. It does have a cushion to go over the seat that fits over that piece. You're not sitting on that metal, that raw metal part. But uh, there's no suspension. <laughs> it's pretty wide. I'm going to say that it's 48 inches wide, uh, the rear axle. So it should be pretty stout. As far as you know, power sliding around curves, it shouldn't want to be tippy at all. And the front end's probably. I'm gonna say 40 inches wide, something like that. And what it has for a throttle is they have a kind of pedal with a rod that comes down to a spring and they just tie a cable onto it and ran it up to the old motor. And uh, I got a bunch of that and just running out of time. And I'll run a new one tomorrow. I gotta you know, clean the carb and then I wanna figure out how I wanna tie into the, to the throttle linkage on this for that. And then again, a kill switch is the only other thing which there's a wire behind here and uh, run a kill. I like it. I'm in it for uh, 33 bucks, I think. Uh, no, 30, 31. The belt was 11 bucks and the machine was 20. And, uh, you know, of course, whatever for paint and all that crap. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I think it came out pretty good. And it's a full-size machine, too. I could fit on it fairly decent. It's like a little kid's ones, you know.
Those back tires, I believe, are 19 inches tall if you take a tape measure across, and the front ones are 14, 16, something like that. So. All right, guys, I was gonna try to get it complete for today to go do a ride, but uh, I'll have to put that off probably till tomorrow. Uh, I, as you can see, it's dark out and it's dinner time. So uh, I'm gonna go drag this carcass out of here and get my bus back in. And uh, tomorrow's another day. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, take care. Bye.